So I'm with my old friend, Scott Stapp, not that he's old, but I feel like we've had a connection for so many years and it's we so have. awesome to see you. It's not in person, but I kind of feel like it's in person because it's more in person than we've been for like the last four years. You're right. I mean, during COVID, this became in person. So, you know, back in the day, I remember I was talking to to my my manager, one of my managers, Josiah, and I was like, man, sometimes I miss the days of just being in my sweatpants and flip flops and doing phoners, you know, and, and now you got to prepare for TV. You got to you know, put the lip cool. gloss on. Absolutely. <laughs> There's no question about it. You got to hope, like I said, you got to fix hope the my, hair. Yeah. The dog is quiet. You know, the kids are, right, are right. quiet. Anyway, um, new solo record coming. Uh, so exciting. Higher power. We get Thank it you. on the 15th of March. Uh, the last yes. time we hung out was um, 2019 Space Between the Shadows. You came out. You were so yes. awesome. You did the listener experience for us, yep. which was such yep. a memorable, great night. You and the wife were out and we just had such yep. an incredible blast of a time with you. And um, this record, I think Higher Power is going to a higher level. I mean, you put together a team of people that you worked with on this record. Uh, Scott Stevens and Marty Fredrickson. There's a Dorothy uh, duet. Yeah. Dorothy, one of my favorite people on the planet. And what a powerhouse yeah. voice. Uh, Giannis. Yeah. So talk to me about all of these incredible people that are part of this incredible project. Well, I tell you, I don't know where to start, um, but I guess I'll start with, you know, I've been working with Marty and Scott Stevens for over a decade. Um, and we've, we just have a creative chemistry. Uh, they understand my vision. Um, they let me be me. Uh, they let me riff and ride and be spontaneous and, you know, step up to the mic with nothing written, no melodies planned and just do my thing. And, and then we craft and hone, uh, out of that. Um, you know, the collab with Dorothy was, was, uh, kind of came out of nowhere, um, you know, initially with the song that uh, I had written uh, and and Marty was a part of, um, we didn't know who we wanted to get originally to uh, to be the female vocal. I just knew that it needed a female vocal. I knew it was born to be a duet. And so initially I was thinking, maybe I try to cross over. Uh, maybe I get a country artist on this. Hmm. Uh, and so I went out and met... Uh, uh, an up and coming rising country star named Alexandra Kay, uh, and was considering her. She's got a great, and I, I know you hate comparisons, uh, but she's kind of got, uh, you know, Dolly Parton 2.0 written all over. Her. Yeah, no, no, because uh, it gives people it gives people a barometer. So you know, comparisons right. are are good because then people may want to look her up or check her out. So right. it's it's right. it's never a bad thing if you can give people a little bit of a barometer. But that's cool because I bet you you're going to work with her in the future. Right. And possibly. Uh, and so, I, you know, I met with her and then uh, I met with the girl I didn't meet with, but had sent my manager. I was like, well, hey, check this girl out. Maybe she would be interested. But she ended up doing the duet with Jelly Roll. Oh, my um, gosh. Yeah. And 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 so that was a strike, too. Uh, and then I happened to be at a show in Wyoming playing with Daughtry and Dorothy was performing there. Uh, and Giannis was like, come out here, man. You need to hear this girl sing. She can, she's got an incredible voice. Uh, and so I watched a few songs side stage and I knew right then that's the one I need on this song. Uh, and so we briefly introduced ourselves, uh, and I let her know about a song. Uh, and then later she was, it happened to be working in the studio with Scott Stevens. Yep. Um, and, uh, Scott played her the song, um, and, uh, you know, she cried. She connected with the song instantly. Uh, and so she recorded it out in California with Scott Stevens and they sent it to me and I heard it and I just got goosebumps all over uh, because I knew it was right. She's uh, a so rock I can't star. Wait she's such a star. I mean, she's got everything. She checks all the boxes. She's got that presence about her. Her, her vocals are just mind blowing. Uh, if these walls right. could talk is the song you're talking about. And there's yeah. just nothing about her that when you look at her, you're just like, what a star she is. And when you said she started crying, yeah. she has that emotional feeling, you know, of a yeah. true artist yeah. where she really feels yeah. everything. So I think it's such a yeah. perfect combination. Your voice and her voice together. Yikes. Unbelievable. I think it's going to really showcase uh, her voice in a way that it's never been showcased before through her rock songs. 
Uh, and, and I really think it's going to open up a, a lot of doors, I hope, uh, because she's got an incredible voice uh, in this song and what she delivered, um, you know, on this song uh, when she comes in and, and takes over. It, it just it was goosebumps for me when I heard it. It was just goosebumps all over. Uh, so but I can't wait to share that song yeah, yeah. with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And this record, I mean, everything that I've heard so far, it's just killer. You have to kind of feel a little bit of full circle because there's so many great things happening right now. So you've got this amazing record that's coming. Are you, are yeah. you touring? Are you doing any touring dates behind this record? Yeah. I just, I just did a show uh, last or two nights ago. I've got a show coming up this weekend and really I'm kicking off kind of the tour. Yeah. Pri prior to, uh, you know, the Creed cruises and then after uh, the Creed cruises prior to the Creed tour. So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of touring uh, going on next year, you know, promoting this record and the singles off this record and then, you know, doing, picking up with Creed uh, in July. So the cruise gets announced and it sells out like faster than any cruise in cruise history. I think Mark was saying that the only thing that yeah. sold at a at a pace that was the same was the Hallmark Channel cruises. Like because <laughs> you guys, everybody was on this cruise. Did you have any idea that there no. would be a feeling, especially for a cruise? You know, it's not necessarily like it's just like a crazy yeah. show. They're getting back together for a show in 10 years, you know, almost 30 years right. since the band formed. But the cruise right. thing had to be crazy the day it went on yeah. sale. It was like mayhem. I, I had no idea. I've never done a rock cruise and I've only been on one Disney cruise with uh, with my <laughs> wife and kids. So I, I knew nothing about it. And when Mark was telling me about, you know, dude, do you realize how fast this sold? And he was sharing the same thing, I guess he shared with you. Um, I really didn't know how it was supposed to go, but I know I'm grateful uh, and humbled by the response uh, and can't wait to experience it for the first time. Yeah. And you bring in a whole bunch of friends out with you. And then, you know, I asked him, I said, when you guys talked about doing the cruise, did you know that the band would get back together for a tour? And he hit me with the answer right away. Do you know what he, you know what the answer was? Let me hear what he said. He said, absolutely. He said, there was never yeah. a question that we were going to get back together. We're going to do it for the fans. We always knew because as he kind of said to me, almost looking back, we just saw that the impact in the blessings, I guess we had as a band and, right. um, and realized we just weren't, weren't finished yet. Well, I have to say that I didn't know, uh, that anything would happen beyond the cruises. You know, I was kind of looking at it as let's feel it out. Let's see how the cruises go. And then let's make some decisions after that. Um, but I think that, you know, once we got to, um, and, and did a phone managers were kind of saying, all right, here's this opportunity. Let's do this. Let's do that. It, it definitely made me feel comfortable enough, uh, you know, to pull the trigger, if you will, uh, on, on moving forward with that. And so, you know, I'm so glad to hear where his heart is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where, no hesitation you, you on know, his part whatsoever. And, he was just like, and, yep. He's like, always knew yeah, we'd get I mean, back. You know, and I had a, I had hesitation too, and I'll be honest with you, I had I had a, a solo record that was probably the most arduous labor of love that felt like everything in the world that could possibly come against me getting this record done um, in every area of my life. Um, so I was like, man, I, I want to do this. I want to promote this record. You know, um, and so, you know, after having some long conversations uh, with management and then getting together with the guys and feeling their vibe with the cruises, I realized um, that, you know, they all can live together. You know, he's doing the Sinatra thing and and they've got other things I'm sure that they're going to be releasing. And and so, you know, it just helps everything else. But, you know, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, how this initial positivity translates into the dynamic of the band because i tell you what if we can get our hearts and our spirits and our minds back to where we were as a unit in 94 95 96 i tell you we may just go out there when the time is right and write the best creed album we've ever done um and so you know that's where my heart is and so we'll see what happens
And I think it's so much sweeter. You know, it's just so much sweeter this time around, I think. You know, yeah. everybody's lived and not only just lived yeah. musical careers and, and what you're doing and family stuff, but we lived through a pandemic and yeah. everything that came with that. So I, I just think right. that it just feels so much better, better than you probably ever thought it could going in. And uh, yeah, I just think one helps the other. I think there's so many boxes to be checked and it's it's a really good yeah. time. I think it's a really good time to be Scott Stapp. You know what it is? It is. And I wake up every day grateful uh, and just humbled by all this. I mean, I know that you had brought up earlier you know, what I was doing in, in 2000, you know, 16 and 17 and, and, and to go through that experience uh, and then get through 19 and then go through the pandemic. And then to be here today, uh, I, I can have nothing but a spirit of gratitude and humility, uh, you know, for this, for this gift and this opportunity and this resurgence uh, that Creed's had. And, and I'm just grateful for people like you, that have championed me all along the way, um, you know, since, since things went sideways. Uh, and, and I just appreciate you and everyone else out there who supported me through this journey. Um, and this, this life lesson of experiences and growth and change, mm -hmm. um, which I think is just going to make everything else right. Uh, and set the stage for an incredible experience for the fans and for the band. And so, I'm just excited and grateful. Yeah. I mean, look, you don't you don't hang out in the music business for 30 years and not have, you know, peaks and valleys. I mean, this is life. And I'll, yeah. I'll never forget, too. You know, I mean, we we'd met in the 90s during the whole Creed cycle. And then yeah. the first time that you kind of came back to WDHA, it was after your autobiography, after Sinner's Creed came out. And we were going to just do a you were local and you we were just going to do a an hour long chat on the air and I'll never forget this. Yeah. I said to you, is there anything that you don't want to talk about? Cuz we hadn't spoken in a really long time. I didn't really know you that well. And you looked me right in the eye and you said, "Nope. Ask me anything. Ask me anything." And I never forgot that because you were just really willing to talk about anything and everything. Uh Jackie was with 100%. you. Yeah, yeah, Jackie was with you. She's such a a sweetheart. And um, you were just super open, honest, and ready to talk about anything. And I, I just never forgot that. I was like, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. You know, as, as we, as a song described on the full circle Creed record, my heart is tattooed on my sleeve and I'm not hiding. You know, I don't, I don't run from my past. I embrace it. I don't run from my mistakes because I look at it as an experience that I can turn and hopefully help somebody else so they don't have to go through the same thing or to realize they're not alone in their struggle and they can make it. Uh, and so I just appreciate waking up one day at a time. I haven't arrived, man, but I've learned a lot of lessons that I can't wait to, to share when it's appropriate uh, and put in either song or in one-on-one -on -one or on stage. Uh, to help take these experiences and turn them into a positive uh, in order to encourage and, and, and help others who may be going through the same things. And the solo records, I mean, just keep getting better and better. The songwriting is incredible. Thank the you. storytelling is incredible. The band Thank is incredible. You. And there's just a heavy, there's a heaviness to you too, which is, um, which is pretty cool. You know, when I first heard higher power, I was just like, man, Scott's Thank like you. bringing it big time. And the band is great. And uh, uh, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really excited to showcase Giannis. You know, Giannis has been with me, you know, for nine years and we have been in the trenches, man, you know, playing dive bars all the way into where we are today. What a player, and, what uh, a player. You know, and, and, uh, you know, I've been blessed uh, to, to have the opportunity to play with one of the most incredible guitar players of our generation in Mark Germani, and then blessed with playing and writing with someone else who I consider one of the greatest guitar players of, of our generation. And that's Giannis Papadopoulos. And so I think the fans, uh, of my solo work and anyone who dives into this record, when they hear Giannis play, they're going to hear exactly what I just explained about this gem 
uh, that I've been blessed with uh, and the talent that he has as a creative and as a guitar player. And so, again, what a blessing it is for me, because uh, it, it's probably a rare thing uh, for someone like me uh, to find these two incredible two amazing, talents. Yeah, amazing that, players. That, yeah. That, 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 ju that just bring out the best in me, though, in what they create. You know, they, they, they hit a tone where they bring inspiration and creativity out of me. And that's such a gift that I, that, that I just don't take for granted. And I'm so grateful to have it. Yeah. And the vocals and the guitar, there's something magical about a guitar player who works so well with a vocalist. It's almost like you don't yeah. know where one starts and the other starts. And it's just, it's a synergy that you don't, you don't get with every, you know, musical, uh, outlet for sure so want to let everybody know yeah. too we've got of course the uh creed show coming to the pnc bank art center in homedale new jersey summer of 99 is coming on august 7th that is our new jersey date as i said when i talked to mark sometimes there are tickets sometimes there aren't tickets you know because the, the yeah. these shows too not only the cruise but the shows were selling out and like they'll put shows on sale in october for the following august and your shows were yeah. selling out which is a that's a major major milestone there that's crazy yeah 100 percent um again i've just been you know blown away uh by all this stuff uh and, and all these sports teams you know, by the way who are so motivated yeah. by creed music now after all these years you know uh whether it's the texas rangers or whoever it is is just like we we feel we've won because we were listening <laughs> to creed be you know so it's 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 pretty cool how everything's sort of happening yeah it's very cool uh it it i don't think it could have been scripted any better uh how everything's come together uh and again i'm just i'm just grateful and happy to be a part of the ride. So if you come out to the New York, New Jersey area to do a show, you're going to come by and see us? Please come by. Of course I will. Okay. You know I wouldn't miss that. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I so, will hold. I will absolutely get... hold you to that. I remember we had such a great time when you did the listener experience. Yeah. Um, we did all these contest winners, and we were at the Raven Room, and you just knocked it out of the park with the <laughs> band, and it was just such yeah. a fun time. It was like kind of acoustic with a little bit of not acoustic and oh what a yep. what an awesome time that was so we would love to see you back in new jersey and congratulations on putting together just an incredible incredible solo record um higher power Thank will you. be out uh just after i like to say just after first of the year because i feel like once we get to january everything just starts to zip on through so we've got a march 15th date um but so looking yeah. forward to it and so looking forward to seeing oh, you thank you Thank you. And I can't wait to continue to share more, more tracks off the record because it's, it's really, I, I think people are going to see it. It's so layered. It's so textured. Uh, and, and again, I feel it's one of the best records I've ever been a part of in my, in my career. So I'm excited to share it with everybody. Yeah, no question. Scott Stapp, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Terry. Good to see you. DHA's Reconnect with Rockers is powered by Dover Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on Route 46 in Rockaway.